Hell's Kitchen, Where the Finalists, Part 2. Hello everyone and welcome to Film Flood. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of Hell's Kitchen's finalists and what they're doing now. This is part two of the first compilation video we did last week ago. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you first go watch that video as well. So where are the finalists up to today? Let's take a look. Jay Santos Season 7 contestant Jay Santos was well known for his unique hairstyle and very cool demeanor. He rarely got angry and didn't have any rough ups with the other contestants. He was generally a likable contestant. He started off as an arrogant chef but as the show progressed he became more humble and built some amazing friendships with Salvador, Jason as well as a friendly rivalry with Benjamin. Santos also established himself in the kitchen as one of the most persistent and strongest chefs of the season. He was able to knock each challenge and diner service out of the park and demonstrated excellent leadership skills. Despite finishing as a runner-up in Season 7, he proved to be a valuable contestant and ended up becoming one of Ramsey's sous chefs after the competition. As a sous chef, he is very calm and respectful to contestants, however not very aggressive as Ramsey if the chefs aren't doing what they're supposed to. Santos had a pretty eventful career after appearing on the show. He returned to his previous position in the restaurant Gargoyles. He worked for a bunch of restaurants including Abbey Lane, Buttermilk and Bourbon, Citrus and Salk and Blue Ink. He is doing pretty well. Interestingly, Santos works beside Salvador at Blue Ink since they still remain friends after the show ended. Russell Cook One of the most consistent chefs of the 8th season, Russell Cook showed immense talent from beginning to end, although many would consider his attitude to be the worst in the show's history. He did start off the show being nice and building a friendship with Luis and helping his teammates in need. He slowly became Hell's Kitchen's biggest bully. As the competition progressed, Cook became worse and worse, trying to sabotage his teammates' work. This hostile behavior caused everyone to turn against him, resulting in several conflicts. One of Cook's biggest rivals, Trev, was the only one who stood up against him and called him out for his irate behavior. Without a doubt, he was one of the most hated chefs on Hell's Kitchen. After the show, he went on to work at a slew of restaurants including the Florentine, Chicago Cut Steakhouse, Ate Up, and Concentric. For a good amount of time, he was an executive chef at a restaurant called Hugo's for Bar and helped open a bunch of successful restaurants. Finally, the mean but extremely talented chef worked at the Gibson Steakhouse, which has excellent reviews. Will Lustberg Season 9 contestant Will Lustberg was one of the nicest and most respected chefs on the show. He often showed concern about the emotional and physical well-being of others on the show. For instance, he was concerned about Natalie when she was upset and wanted to help Jason when he had to leave due to dehydration. Lustberg was always the first one to cheer on those who were kicked out from the competition, wishing them luck in the future. Lustberg was the best overall chef and leader of Season 8, and due to his passion, leadership skills, and consistency, he was able to to make it all the way to the finals. Following his appearance in Hell's Kitchen, Lustberg went back to working at a restaurant called Walford Asteria. He eventually moved on to trying something different as he went on to work at the Princeton Club in New York. Additionally, he became a culinary specialist at Hudson Stable, but currently works as the executive sous chef at Highgate Hotels. Justin Antonio Star of the blue team, Justin Antonio was the strongest chef with one of the best palates in the show's history. Having a ton of passion and taking the competition very seriously, he turned out to be an exemplary leader. This led him to having very solid and consistent performances and challenges and services which pushed him all the way to the finals. He got on well with everyone and had some altercations with Robin who constantly started drama and performed poorly. Named as the 10th runner-up of Hell's Kitchen, it was unfortunate that he didn't win the title. Following his exit from the show, he went on to work at Bin 14 Anthony Davids as Chef de Cuisine. Later on, moving on to a restaurant called Summit House. He also works as a restaurant consultant helping out ones like Green Rock Tap and Grill. Mary Ponehelt Described as one of the kindest and sweetest cooks in the show's history, Season 11 contestant Mary fought her way to the top. While being very nice, she also never failed to stand up for herself when being mistreated. Not starting off the season as one of the strongest chefs, she was eliminated for the first three eliminations. However, after realizing how close she was to being eliminated, she stepped up her game. Improving as the competition went on, she became the strongest link to the red team. No one expected this soft-spoken contestant who was almost eliminated to become a culinary powerhouse. Mary became the 11th runner-up of Hell's Kitchen and took her loss very maturely. After the show, Mary ironically went back to her old job at Whole Foods as a butcher. 
Even though she works as a butcher, she would be proud of herself for making it so far and a show. Thanks for watching.